Welcome back to Productivity in Real Life. This is our Working in Todoist series, and today I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on how to create frequently used projects in Todoist. I recently had a, uh, an associate of mine uh, standing over my shoulder uh, as I was doing some work in Todoist here and they saw my templates section and a list of different templates that I've got in Todoist and I was asked how how, how do I deal with templates in, in Todoist and so I showed them well you know I've got a quick access list here of different frequently used templates and all I need to do is click on that uh, and then click again and it gets added as a new active project into Todoist. So if I'm packing for a business trip, uh, you're probably well aware that you can create your list or your project in Todoist, list everything you need on here, but if you go and check something, it disappears. So you don't want to have to create a travel packing list for example every time you want to go away you want to have a a list that is lists all the stuff you need and when you're going on your trip you just put it into Todoist as an active project check things off you know when they're gone you've got it packed the problem like I say is once you start checking things off they're gone uh, so right now I can't even go in here I can't duplicate this project I could archive it I could delete it um, things like that I can't go up here I can't really do anything else with it either uh, show completed tasks you could do that and then you could uncheck everything again uh, but it's, it's it's cumbersome so what I've done here is use the export feature in Todoist and it lets me create a basically a dashboard which we'll call this here template links. This is basically my dashboard of uh, frequent projects in here and I've taken a couple out just to show you how to rebuild it. But I've got a new project, I've got my main project, I've got a sub project called template links or you can call it a template dashboard, whatever you want. And then also under here I've got my different projects that are frequently used. I've got a project tracker, so I'm looking on book writing which I actually haven't used yet but it's of interest. I've got a general trip packing uh, list. I've got business travel packing, day to day, like basically days of the month, one through 31 here I use for a couple of different things. Yeah, and, and these are frequently used. So I will duplicate these as needed and rename them and start using them as a, as a new project item. So what I've done is, like I say, everything is under template links what I do is well, let's pick one and I'll show you if I want to add a new computer into my office here tech rebuild click this will open up in a browser window just bring that over to look template computer rebuild use this template I hit click to do it starts up if we scroll to the bottom of my project lists template computer rebuild I can now edit this project change the name of it you can change the color just like you would normally do uh, I'll get into colors at some point but uh, what I do is uh, color code different groups um, orange is for my business so we'll take that as color orange We'll leave it as a list and we'll hit save. There it is there. I can now drag this anywhere I want it. So we'll put this back up into my daily projects because as soon as this computer comes in, I'll drag it with my other orange projects. New laptop build out. Click. There it is there. Tag and document my different components used. Peripherals, same thing set up on the LAN, on the network, cloud computing setups, install various software, uh, there's no iPad involved in this one, so I just close that up, no phone involved, 
uh, just the computer software for Windows. It's a Windows computer. It's not a Linux one, so I'll shrink that as well. So now I've got everything I need to do in that project, and that all comes out of a project that's down under my templates called Computer Rebuild, like you saw here. And this is template computer build. This has got everything in there that I need to build out a computer in my business or personal environment. Like you saw, whether Windows, Linux, iPad, or if it's a new iPhone coming into uh, into service here as well, what apps go on it, what groupings they go into, and so on. So frequently used projects. I've got a dashboard. I can just click on one of these and it gets added to the bottom of the Todoist project lists like you saw. So I brought that into play. I don't need it right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that project. So back down into my templates. How do I do this? Well, it's, it's quite simple and I will show you here on this client management project. We click on the project. Up here, we've got three dots. Click. We want to go down to export as a template. There's two ways to do this. You can export as a file and then save these on your computer somewhere in a folder called Todoist Templates. The problem is you might lose it. Uh, they may not be accessible. You might be on a different computer and you're accessing Todoist. So what you can do is export as a shareable URL. Click. This website address is the link to that project that we want to save as a template. Copy to clipboard. We'll just click that. It's copied. We'll close. We're going to go back to our dashboard project. We're going to go add a task. We're going to go asterisk because we want an undeletable uh, task here. If you leave that blank, you'll see these are all uncompletable tasks. So if you didn't have the asterisk in there and you just had uh, this is a task, for example, you'll see that it's now a something that you can complete by hitting the checkbox. So we want more of a permanent solution. So we'll go asterisk, that again, uncompletable task. And we want to call this. Uh, or we want to paste, so we're going to go right click, paste, or you can do control V, paste. That is the website address for that project that we just exported via URL, a shareable link. We're going to go with space at the end of that, and we're going to go round bracket, client management list. And we're going to close that round bracket. We're going to not schedule it or anything. We're going to leave it alone in our links. And we're going to go add a task. Click. Cancel. We don't want to add a new task. And now you see it here. Instead of a messy URL that you can't figure out what's going on, you get what was inside those round brackets. Uh, you'll see here again we got the, our asterisk for uncompletable. We've got that big long URL that we copied out of the shareable link and inside the round brackets client management list. Cancel and there it is. So you see I've got a few other things in here. I got my tech, my computer rebuild one that we already demonstrated, trip packing for general, trip packing for business, trip packing for scuba which I've got to set up still. Uh, client management list though, this is the one we just made. So this project was already in here. We've gone to the three dots, we've exported as a template, and we've exported as a share URL. We've copied that to the clipboard, and then we went back to our dashboard, created a new task, and called it client management list, and gave it that URL. So now we click, use this template, just like you saw the first time. Todoist will reload. Scroll down through our projects, templates, client management is still there. It's untouched. It's left alone because we've exported it as a template into our bookmark list. 
but here it is here client management ready to go so we'll go edit project name new client John Doe we'll give him the color of orange oops for bit my business tasks we'll hit save there it is here new client John Doe color orange we can drag that around to wherever we need it put him into work I guess if he's a work client he should be green because that's my color of work versus uh, personal business but again I'll touch base on how I use colors a little later on in a new episode but there we go my new client checklist comes from my template down here client management new client so I can add I can start checking things off as I get things dealt with for this new client for me not needed right now I'm just going to hit delete so that's it that is my template system or my frequently used projects in Todoist and how I keep them organized and quickly accessible template links whatever you want to call it here this could be your template dashboard you can still add sections in here uh, add a section uh, business clients we can go new section add a section personal add section there we go trip packing general that would go in there scuba diving would go in there uh, tech rebuild I'll leave undecided right now trip packing business would go up here client management list would go under business as well GTD would go under business and then we can also go out a section miscellaneous and drag these other two stragglers down here just like so so now it's a little bit organized personal miscellaneous so we can quickly come in here okay I got personal things to do I'm gonna go on a trip click use this template have it added back into Todoist for my next trip check things off they're done they're gone I can archive that project at the end of it and then the next time I'm going on a trip or when I'm returning from my trip and I want to make sure I've got everything that I packed well I just come back here template links click and regenerate the project anyway that's it hope you got some value out of that that is how I deal with frequently used projects within Todoist if you've got any questions leave them down below in the comments section I'll do my best to answer them and uh, otherwise be sure to like subscribe and of course share this video if it was of use to you thanks for watching productivity in real life